What is going on my family? Your boy Demetrius is back with another Tekken 8 video and here I gotta holler at y'all about the Tekken 8 closed beta and the importance of this closed beta that's gonna happen a couple of weeks from now because one of the things about betas is they let us do betas because of course you know they want us to get a feel for the game they want us to get ready for the real game you know combo study all that type of stuff like that but most importantly the whole point of betas is to basically let the development team know what's going on it's basically they're dishing it out and they want us to try it out to see if we like it or not that's really the point of betas and we already know there has been some questionable things that have been going on in Tekken 8. And one of the things that we can do now with this closed beta is coming up is letting the development team know that some of these things that are going on in Tekken 8 is completely unacceptable. I mean, this is the true reason of betas to tell the development team what the hell that doesn't need to be there or something needs to be added or whatever. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. Now, just a few days ago, I basically, you know, <laughs> I basically just let it all go when I found out that the rank match system was only going to be the best of three. And that is one of the situations where I just kind of feel like it was just totally unacceptable and they really didn't have to change all of that. But I kind of figure in this closed beta test, we're going to get a taste of that first of three. But my understanding is not too many people are happy about this decision change. So this would be a perfect opportunity in this closed beta to let the development team know that they should change it back. They should change it back to the infinite format basically give us the freedom that we had in Tekken 7. That's one of the things that I love about Tekken 7's rank match system. It felt free. If you wanted to infinite play somebody, you could. If you wanted to back out the next game, you could. You feel what I'm saying? You could play as many matches as you want. It didn't have to be infinite. Some people just play one, two, three, four, or five games. You know, it's almost like they took the freedom away from us when they said the best of three. And then if you think about it, too, let's just say if there's two Tekken God Primes, you know, you win one, I win one, and then whoever wins the third. Let's just say you win the third. Now, here's the thing. You win the first match. OK, you get the points. You lose the second match. The points get taken away. You lose. Let's just say if you win the third match. Wow, you get those points that you lost right back. Man, come on, man. That sounds boring as fuck. Like, what is the point? What is the point? And then the game is over after that, and you got to go back to the waiting screen. What is the point? What's the point of doing that? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, probably, you know, you go back to the waiting screen, you'll get another Tekken God Prime. But the problem is, is momentum. That's what I ranted about in my last video when it came to that change. The momentum is going to be fucked up when it comes to that. So if they have it in this closed beta test, that is one of the main things that we really need to get on the development team. You know, basically let them know to change that rank format back, because for the most part, People are not happy with it. Now, I know there are some people out there that are just cool and content with it. I'm not sure if it's a casual thing when those people say that they're cool with it. And a lot of people say that they're doing it because they want it more of a tournament format. But here's the thing. It's not a tournament. You feel what I'm saying? This is rank match. This is just something that we like to do as far as consoles and far as online. You know, tournament stuff, that's offline stuff. I mean, you got online tournaments too, but still, rank is different. I always kind of viewed rank as that type of mode that can prepare you for tournaments. And though I know a lot of people are not going to agree with that. At the end of the day, the rank system just had its own thing going on. It had its own flow. You feel what I'm saying? And I just kind of feel like Bandai Namco really dropped the ball by taking that away from us. And now I feel like it's time for us to stand up. Stand up to that development team and tell them, hey, look, we want it back. And as I post it right here is the purpose of the beta test. And it says the purpose of the closed beta test is to test the network and monitor the gameplay experience of Tekken 8. Players will be able to test the new aggressive battle system as well as battle matching and communication with other players in the Tekken Fight Lounge, a large scale online lobby. 
We aim to obtain feedback on the quality of the network and gameplay. We would greatly appreciate it if all participants could provide feedback through an online survey that we plan to send out via email after the closed beta test. Your valuable opinions will be used as a reference for adjustments to the battle system. So there y'all have it. So this is our chance right here. Whatever y'all don't like about the game so far, let them know. This is it right here. This is it as clear as day. And I'm the type of person, there is a slew of things that I would like to tell the development team already without even playing the beta. This is what this is all about here. It ain't just the rank system either. And you know, a lot of people have been complaining about the chip damage. I think that's going to really come up too. You know, I don't like that whole chip damage thing. I don't like that chip damage thing being in 3D fighting games. I also think they dropped the ball with that. That's also going to be another complaint because that's just really stupid. Why have that in a 3D fighting game? And, you know, the whole heat system. Now, they're not going to be able to really do anything about the heat system. Uh, they probably could nerf it a little bit. Or me personally, the problem that I have with the heat system, I really think it slows the game down. From what I've been viewing, that whole heat system shit, it really slows the game down. Like, why do you need like a cinematic dash in the middle for that shit? Y'all feel what I'm saying? They need to go ahead and take that shit out. I can see that shit right now without even playing the game. That shit is kind of corny. So like I said, there is a lot of things that we can... uh I guess you can say complain about because, you know, when people come to my channel, they really they try to shove that word down my throat because they say I complain so much. Well, you know what? If these things get alternated and get changed, y'all can thank me for fucking complaining about it because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what this beta test is telling us to do. It's telling us to complain. And that's exactly what the fuck I'm going to do. So like I said, there are a slew of things that I want them to change already. And when we play the beta, we're probably going to find some other things. And we're just going to have to let the development team know about it via Twitter or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? So the whole purpose of this video right here was just to let everybody know, shed some awareness like, hey, you know, whatever you don't like about the game, when the beta test comes out, let them know. Let Harada and his development team know because there's a lot of changes that they have made that were completely unnecessary. And this is our chance to really uh, speak our minds, speak our opinions, and hopefully they'll change it back. So that's really what I wanted to come on here and talk about uh, the closed beta test. And then on top of that, too, of course, you know, people are going to have fun. I'm going to try to have fun. I'm going to try to have as much fun as I possibly can with the game. I'm really going to try to find fun in it. You feel what I'm saying? Which I'm pretty sure it's going to be some fun. Uh, like I said, we're just going to have to see what happens. But the whole purpose of this beta test is just to let them know what's on our minds right now. And the last couple of months, there's been a lot, a lot, a lot of bullshit when it comes to Tekken 8 and this closed beta test. Hopefully they'll fucking, hopefully they'll feel our pain with this closed beta test. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So if y'all haven't gotten on it already, you know, get on that, get on that registration. And I hope you're the lucky person that is able to get access to the beta. I wasn't able to get the CNT. You know, I got that type of bad luck, but I'm really hoping that I can get access to the beta this time around. So basically, let me know what y'all think. Put y'all comments in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this. And also, too, I know we've done this time and time again on various videos, but put in the comment section of the issues that y'all have so far when it comes to Tekken 8. And hopefully, if y'all let them know, they'll end up changing it once the real release of the game comes out. So let me know that shit, too. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 and Tekken 7 action on the internet, period. As I keep on saying, ain't nobody doing it like I'm doing it when it comes to this tech and shit. And that is facts. I will get back at y'all in the next video. God bless. Stay safe. More classic content is on the way. I will see y'all. I'm out. Peace.